This is a quick video over dust. Dust explosions. Explosions. So for a dust explosion, you need a fuel or dust. And you actually need five things. Five things for a dust explosion. So maybe a pentagon. Not quite a pentagon. But what you need, one of the things you need is fuel. Fuel. And this is mostly dust. Dust. Now this can be sugar, starch, uh, it can be almost any fine powder that can, I mean, that has energy in it. So even, like, dust, wood dust, wood could be a fuel for a dust explosion. Now you also need an oxidizer. Oxidizer. So this could be most often, well, almost always, this is oxygen. Oxygen in air. And you really can't really prevent oxygen in the air. So usually when you have dust explosions, you're, they're usually in grain mills or saw mills. They're, I mean, you're, you're not going to remove all the air, so you can't really do anything about this. And you can try to prevent this by having, I don't know, maybe a high humidity area that keeps the dust down on the ground. Because another thing you need is suspension. So you need, whoops, suspension of the dust. So just because you have dust doesn't mean you'll have a fire. You need the dust suspended in the air. So you have to have that. And you also have to have an ignition source. Sun source. source. Now, you can have all these and you'll have a dust fire, but to have an explosion you need confinement. Confinement. So you need an area where the the uh, fire will actually increase, will actually generate a pressure difference, because this is going to be under deflagration. It's not going to rapidly explode. It's going to be a deflagration, and as it deflagrates, it's going to increase the temperature of the system, whether it be a silo or just a, a building. So as the temperature increases, the pressure inside the building increases, and then you just have an explosion. So to have a dust explosion, you need fuel, an oxidizer, you need the fuel suspended, an ignition source, and you can never really control the ignition source. It will almost always be an ignition source. And finally, you need confinement. So a way to prevent a dust explosion is maybe have walls that fall off at relatively low pressures. So maybe just like open chunks of the wall that just pop out at really low pressure differences. So then you don't have this massive explosion, you have a minor explosion. So those are just the five things you need. Need. Need for a dust explosion.